How are you today? It's good to see you. Today's story is Love Monster by Rachel Bright. This was one of our class favorites. So maybe um, you can listen to the story today and when you're done maybe you can show your family how you know how to make a love monster. You can use some paper, draw some googly eyes, make a love monster or two. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. This is the official pile of extreme cuteness. Bunnies, kitties, Soft, fluffy things. Love monster. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed, monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps, but not being the moping around sort. He decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. Here's his suitcase. It says, this suitcase belongs to L Monster. He's got packing for big, wide world. So he's got his list of things to pack. He's got his glasses. Um, he's got all different things, a long list. And here's his home, and he's getting ready to set off into the big wide world. He looked high. Look high. He looked low. Look down low. He looked middle-ish, right in the middle. He's even a tumbleweed in the middle of nowhere. He looked inside, he's looking into the mailbox, and outside. More than once, he thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. So here he thought he found somebody. It's just a stick-on monster head. This is the non-cute fancy dress shop. That one's just a shadow. And in the water, it's just his reflection. Didn't find anyone yet. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. Oh look, he's starting to have a dark cloud above his head. And now it's starting to rain. And then it didn't go well some more. Here's his list of all his places he's looked. High, low, middle-ish, inside, outside, elsewhere. He keeps crossing off all the places he's looked. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. Looks like he's all alone in the dark. So the monster, having lost all of his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. He's waiting at the bus stop and it says, bus to Cutesville. Here comes the bus to take him home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. Why do you think it changed? Who's on the bus? You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Go ahead and make a love monster and send me a picture. A picture, I can't wait to see him. See you later.